Here we go. Smasher over self service. Smasher whipping out the Mega Man. See what he got. We'll see what uh, we'll see what self service can do right now. Self service, a very good player in his own right. Uh, however, Smasher definitely the favorite here. We'll see what self service can do. Yeah, self service. Yeah. yeah, he's cool to watch. Um, uh, self service is pretty sick as well. He goes for like some crazy deep ledge guards. Yeah, yeah, self service had some pretty good wins. Um, he's playing well recently. He's gonna get the, he's gonna get the crash bomb stuck to him. No follow up from Smasher or self service. Doing a good job uh, getting a hit off after getting stuck to uh, avoid a big follow up. Mega Man's ledge pressure is so strong, it's so hard to break through that self service. He gets through there though, and then we get that Nair resetting neutral right now. Leaf shield out, but he's gonna cancel it. Self service off stage again, and he's gonna eat that back air this time. Real rough spot as Yoshi against Mega Man. Off stage, he just has so many options to get you off there, but uh, let's see if self service can uh, consistently get back to stage in this matchup and try and make that look really Need a couple more back airs here. Self service does have Smash at disadvantage though. That down gonna connect. Smash off stage. Both of these characters thrive in their opponents and disadvantage off stage. Yoshi can go way deep. Um, get that Nair off stage and that big double jump gets him back to stage pretty consistently. Um, we'll, see if you, uh, we'll see if self service is able to make the most out of those tools this game. Smash doing a good job recovering. Throwing out all these hitboxes even when he's off stage. Self service sending him way off stage to the egg, almost killing but not quite. Looking like Melee out here getting those quick with the edge, but that up air is gonna take it. Uh, it's gonna get out right before that uh, Mega Man down air. Almost sent him right back to the ground, but he was able to get the up air and get that kill. Self service. Behind by a little bit, but looking rather threatening right now. And that down air is gonna get a lot of damage off. And that's crazy about Yoshi. He's one of those characters where one move can make the game so much closer. Shield looking a little bit small after that up tilt, but not quite gonna do it. All of a sudden, he's got an even game. Self-service off stage, though. Smasher putting on good pressure. Throwing out all these hitboxes, but self-service just breaks right through it. Said, I got that battering ram right through uh, the door that Smasher built on the side of the stage. And this game is tied. This is crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, man, my uh, finesse. Finesse. It's like, it's all right, bro. Yeah, no, you're pretty good. Yeah, shield looking real small right there. Self service, able to survive that. Self service was looking rough at the beginning of this game, but he's kind of got a read for things. Started running it back. We'll see. Uh, see what self service can do moving forward as Smasher takes that stock. Good movement from uh, self service here, but just so much pressure from Smash at thousand one. Yeah. Doing a good job keeping him in disadvantage, keeping self service scared. And self service is such a threatening player when he's uh, when he's in his element and when he's playing well. Um, and we'll see if he can find his groove in this set at some point. Oh um, yeah, good uh, good down B there, and the fair is gonna get the kill. Last stock scenario here between these two players. Self service just needs one opening to rack up this da uh, this damage. Yoshi uh, has a lot of aerials that do a lot of damage, a lot of quick uh, three four hit strings that can just really swing the tide of a game super quickly however smasher doing such a good job just that consistent pressure putting it on him Let's see what self service can what self service can do yeah definitely i mean he he was looking for that nair earlier but you know smasher just stuffed it out and it's just both these guys moving right now yeah and that yoshi nair usually is such a good move it's so fast so active you can just throw it out but smasher doing a really good job stuffing it out with all those big mega uh all those big mega man hitboxes back air doing a really good job in this matchup Stuffing him out, but that fair into Nair, self-service, put on a little bit of pressure there, but Smasher breaks out of it right away. Oh my god. So much pressure. Oh, oh no. no. You hate, you hate to, see to see it. it. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> oh man, we both did this coming. Yeah, rough spot right there. Yoshi not having a super good recovery up. It sends him up a little bit, but 
Only he's got the momentum and Smash was able to catch that jump and send self service off. Close first game though, self service. That uh, self service trying to use his brain, his big brain to see what he can do. So Makes up happen going too. too. So Smash looks like he just might be in trouble here. But, uh, I think he, I think he might have accidentally air dodged. Yeah, I think. Buffered air dodge an accident. Or just like hit, just air dodge and miss input. It. I think since he was off stage without a jump, that was the only option he had. Oh, okay. He was trying to get as close to recovering as he could have, but unfortunately, just not enough. I just never see. Uh, it was only level one to self service. <laughs> I just never see Yoshi without jumps. So right, yeah. Always up in the air forever. So. Oh, there we go. Nice down air. Yeah, very good. Yeah, and that Yoshi jump is so good just because um, it goes so high and it has um it has armor on it. So if you if you jump early as Yoshi, you're almost always going to be able to get back to the stage. However, if you get caught off guard, or if your opponent has a hard read on it, or if they have the movement or projectiles to catch you in that jump, it can put you in a rough, rough spot. Nice. Right, so you did a good job with the eggs. I mean, still anyone's game. Mm -hmm. Like we said, like, last game, Smasher just, like, constantly with the projectiles, just stuffing out his, um, all his aerials, too, and just... Oh my god. Yeah, he always has a hitbox out, um, which makes it really, really, really rough right there. You see Yoshi off stage and Smash are going to catch him with like three aerials in a row. Really long off stage interaction, which does not benefit Yoshi. Yoshi likes to work in quick bursts, and Smash are having all these projectiles out constantly. Does not play a quick game. It's funny that uh, uh, Self Service is actually a, uh, an extremely good chess player. And I think it's funny that in this in this kind of matchup, the Smasher always has a projectile out. You kind of got to play the game as if it is chess, slowly moving forward, trying to make moves on your opponent methodically, um, which is usually not what Yoshi likes to do. As I said earlier, Yoshi likes to work in quick bursts, a couple of three, four hit strings. Be in your face constantly. Yeah, exactly. Moving around all over the stage. Smasher in the corner here. Self-service able to catch the um, the metal blade and get the back air off stage. Smasher in a rough spot. That down air gonna connect. Self-service has been connecting with these down bees. He doesn't use them very often, but whenever he does, he seems to whip them out in the perfect opportune time. Using it to ledge trump there. Very interesting uh, use of that move. Uh, Self-service is feeling it right now. Seems a little risky, but uh, Smasher's stuffing them out now. I mean, wow, just, just constant aerials and constant projectiles. I mean, it's so tough for Steven right now just to get in on it. Yeah, that Leaf Shield's so good in this matchup. Yoshi not having a lot of disjointed hitboxes. When Mega Man's in that Leaf Shield, it's really rough. you got to have perfect spacing if you're Yoshi or just wait it out. You have to respect it. It's really rough if you're, um, if you're Yoshi. A lot of uh, up-close hitboxes that Leaf Shield is really good against. But he's got to be thinking, like, what can he do? What can he do differently to move around some of this stuff? But there's just so many aerials and projectiles and hitboxes coming out. It's constantly in his face right now. It's the down B. Down B does so much damage. What a, how much did that do? It was like high 20s? Yeah. Self-service going for a lot of really, really bold options. Saw him earlier going for Nair Fair off stage, just trying to hit him with something. Go, Gonna get that go. egg, racking up oh. a lot of damage. This game getting closer and closer to even. Self-service going for the down break to get the shield break. Gets like another egg. egg. No, no conversion off of it though. A whole lot of damage though. And all of a sudden, self-service brought it back yet again. We got an even game here. We'll see if he can connect and convert on this uh, even game better than he did last game. Self-service off stage though, using those eggs to stall himself. But Smasher's gonna catch that jump with the back air. And all of a sudden, we have a deficit for self-service. Again though, all he needs is really one aerial to connect. Nair by the ledge will kill. Right there, you see self-service going for it, trying to get that fair in the back air, gonna kill off the top. And right now, we got what is basically an even game here in game two. Very nice. Uh, trying to catch him with the uh, bomb there. And not get anything. There's four airs. Now he's you know self-service seems like he's trying to find a way around some of um, you know Smasher's moves here. Yeah, self-service doing a really good job getting in right now. Has a bit of a lead right now on Smasher. Resetting neutral. Smasher doing a good job using that blade to um, zone out. You can just drop it and create a wall between yourself and your opponent. Patience there. Misses the back air. Getting stuffed out now constantly. Oh, it's off stage. Not somewhere he wants to be. Oh, self-service. Able to get back, though. One thing Smasher's doing very good in this matchup 
is uh, mixing up his options in tech situations. Yoshi forces so many of those, and Smasher um, not not ever doing the same option twice, making it really hard for self service to uh, um, cover his options. Yeah, yeah, up till not quite killing. Ooh. The grab from self service sends Smasher off stage. Ooh, into the egg. Whole lot of damage. Oh my God. Down B not quite gonna kill. Self service in disadvantage without a jump. Not gonna get caught. Jumps over the F smash. The egg off stage. He's going deep for it. The Nair not gonna kill. The oh eggs to God. put on pressure. This is the down tilt. Yeah, I think these guys looking for anything you can get right now. It's like, this is crazy. Yeah, self service trying to wall out with these back airs. I think one back air at center stage will kill. Self service trying to connect oh, with one. Not God. quite gonna kill. Getting the eggs out there. Nothing. Smasher off stage right now. Self service with the Nair. Self service is just chasing him back and forth. He has the crash bomb on him. He's gonna be able to shield it. Smasher off stage. Self service. Oh pressure up close. The scramble situation seems like it lasted for the last 30 seconds. Who's gonna come on top? Self service throwing out everything. Smasher trying to break through and get something. But self service able to connect with the fair. Oh. And the Nair not quite gonna get the kill. Another oh false sparks for self service. At the ledge for Smasher, he's in a rough spot. He's down on his resources. That down B not quite gonna connect. And the back air is gonna get oh the kill. Oh my god. Wow, 186 on Mega Man. Self-service almost able to take that to a game three, but Smasher just too clutch and he takes the second.